Good morning and welcome to another episode here at Rockstar UK. Um, happy Easter. Uh, currently recording this on Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, today I've just been doing some quotes on the computer for some customers. Um, good to see some Groms popping up in the UK. Um, you see a few standard ones but it's nice to see some ones that people are starting to modify. Um, also the 49cc NCY drive faces seem to be uh, quite desired over here in the UK because obviously a lot of people ride the 49ccs so if you need one hit me up we'll get you sorted uh, they're a good little uh, performance upgrade uh, for the for the little get motor today we're going to be working on Black Betty well, that's what I like to call her anyway um, we're going to be taking the engine out um, and I've got a brand new motor which we're going to start moving the stuff across. Um, we've got to paint it up, we've got to do all the sorts of things like that so uh, let's get cracking. Right so I've uh, pulled the bike out the front of the house so I can uh, basically start taking the engine off and uh, then I can get it up on the bench and start taking all the bits off it that I, that I need. Um, I've got a bit of foam that I'm going to put underneath the frame to stop it from dropping, but yeah, let's get to it. Right, so, just taking the carb off, um, we've also taken the exhaust away, I've unclipped all the wiring, uh, fuel lines, so really it's the main bolt that goes through and the engine will come away. So, uh, right, so, we've got the engine and the frame separated, uh, pretty straightforward, you've got the main bolt runs through here uh, the mount pretty much stays in its place undo the bottom uh, shock bolt make sure you undo all the cables and everything slide that sucker right out of here so next thing to do is take the wheel off um, and the intake and then I can start stripping that down for whatever I need um, and then we can start preparing the new engine Good morning, today's another day, um, we're going to start the strip down of the new motor, I'm going to actually do the short axle first, uh, the stator, the, the hub, the clutch and the variator set, that's all going to come after painting, we're going to have to install all of that stuff, uh, but obviously I've got to take some of those bits off anyway to prep the motor ready for painting so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing as regards to the short axle so basically I've got a brand new motor from the ruck shop um, as you guys know I distribute their parts across the UK so if you need any parts GY6 engines um, custom handlebar setups whatever you need wheels Hit me up, we'll get you sorted. That's for the rocket Ruckus and the Grom. Um, so yeah, let's uh, jump into it. I'm really not very enthusiastic today, but let's uh, let's crack on. So we've got the GY6 engine up on the bench. Um, I've just taken the kickstart off, which is 
this contraption it goes that way um, that's just an 8mm off the top pop that out that should slide off now these are a series of 8mm bolts um, I'm not going to be using this because obviously I've got an ankle biter kit so we're going to actually take out the, the kick start mechanism as well uh, this engine is slightly different than mine because it's got the this is how it came in the package so this is the sort of like EGR valve thing so we're going to blank that off as well by making a little blanking plate um, new start motor which is good we're going to change the clutch but we'll do that in another episode after we painted it um, so today really is just getting it ready prepping it up for painting all right so we've got the CVT cover off as you can see the belt um, so it's a Gates Powerlink 83520 belt which is obviously what comes as standard probably good to use that belt because I think the other one got chewed up a little bit when the when the crank stopped obviously the variator stopped and it basically wore a, a little divot into the the variator on the other side so I'll probably use this variator face until I get a performance one but obviously I've got a a drive face which doesn't look to be damaged so this one will go that clutch will come off because I'll use I might use this new clutch what do you want to call it um, clutch drive and then I'll put my new clutch on and my snowflake bell but we're going to take this mechanism out which you can see is like an, an 8 mil there which does the spring load this will just wiggle out Excuse me and then basically there's a couple of clips and stuff in there that you have to unclip them and then it, it all slides out of their little positioners because um, most of it is actually held in by the, the CVT cover and then we just got to clean up all this gasket face because there's a little bit of gasket left and then we'll look at taking this bit off we have the variator the clutch the front kickstart pulley and then the rear kickstart pulley uh, all off just make sure you take this little bush out as well because sometimes that gets left in um, make sure it's all nice and clean I see there's a little bit of, like where well, you can see the grease there nice so we'll make sure we give this all a good clean out now we've got to start taking these off and normally you take them off in sort of like a clockwise motion just so you know because all the bolts are slightly different in their sizes so you know to put them back in the same order this gasket that goes all the way around we're going to be replacing that because we've got a new one anyway um, but you can use a bit of RTV um, but we'll probably put the gasket on maybe just use a bit of RTV to stick it in places and yeah let's crack on with that then so as you can see we've just taken the cover off so that's how it sits and your gears they do sometimes come out with them um, this is the gear that fits on your oh, sorry, on your axle so this basically pulls out which is you can see how long it is compared to the short axle kit you can see well it goes that way but you see the difference <laughs> huge so this allows you then to run obviously a fatty wheel um, and sort of like Dynamax hub and that so put the new gasket on make sure you got your two dowels in um, just fold the corners over slightly they've got a little bit of uh, foam in there to take the gap up so when you sandwich this on it will press it all in nicely so we'll get to that now so that's buttoned back up now I've uh, put all of these in, talked them up to spec, uh, cleaned off any of the little bit of sealant that I put on there. I literally just put a little bit, it's, well, it's the tubes down there, it's called gasket maker. And it just makes sure that there's no, no leaks. There's the short axle, I always put the nut on there just to make sure it's, I don't lose it. Um, yeah, all good, nice and easy one to do. So next thing will be taking off all the shrouds and everything like that and then start prepping it for paint but um, I guess we'll do that in the next episode right so that's it for today uh, 
So we've got the GY6 pretty much stripped down apart from obviously the head and the cylinder. Now, what we're gonna do now is mask up most of the stuff, paint it up, and then when all my other bits come, we'll start swapping them over. Now, we did some, or I did, a little bit more of a tear down on Black Betty's uh, GY6, and the barrel and piston are deeply scored. So, unfortunately, I can't use them again. I've already got a brand new big valve cylinder head, so I've gone and bought another uh, NCY 171 uh, 61mm kit. So, I'll take you through putting all that together and getting that on the, on the new engine. So, I'm going to paint the main casing up black, and then the barrel and piston I'll get put on after. Uh, just to allow for, because sometimes, hard to explain. Basically, when you paint it, sometimes that can actually hold in some of the heat and you want to get let that out. So, this time, I'm going to just have a go without painting it and see if that helps with the characteristics. So, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe and the little bell notification to notify you of any future videos that we do. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the next video.